What class should you play in Greymoor? It's the first decision we make when we enter an MMO or when we're returning from a long time away. Uh, I won't make the decision for you, but I can help you make an informed decision. We'll go over each class's strengths and weaknesses because while every class can be a tank, DPS, or healer, some classes fill certain roles better than others. This is also referred to as the meta. Give the meta as much or as little importance as you want when making your decision. Ultimately, all classes in this game can do all of the content. It just might be a little bit easier for some combinations than others. First up, the Necromancer. The Necromancer is the newest class in the game, just added in the Elsewhere expansion last year. As you would expect, this class is built around using the dead to get things done. The Necromancer has arguably the strongest ultimate in the game, the Colossus. Not only does the Colossus do a tremendous amount of AoE damage, but it also causes the enemies hit by it to take 30% more damage from everyone in the group for 8 seconds, making it essential in raid groups. As healers, Necromancers are the only class capable of resurrecting three party members at once with the use of their ultimate. Necromancers are top tier damage dealers, top tier healers, and incredibly competent tanks. For this reason, the Necro makes an exceptional choice for any of the three roles when Greymore launches. Next, the Warden. Warden's abilities focus around the use of nature and an assortment of animal companions to aid them in their adventures. The Warden was released with the Morrowind expansion and has definitely found itself to be a staple in the game due to its amazing utility as a healer and access to buffs like Minor Toughness make them an invaluable part of any trial group. Wardens also make exceptional tanks, taking advantage of decent damage mitigation in their winter skill lines, and a combination of other medium-powered hots and medium-powered burst heals that all work together to make Wardens nearly indestructible. While Wardens shine as healers and tanks, they are not especially valued for their raw damage output. This is not to say they aren't capable of doing all content as a damage dealer, but if you are looking to sit at the top of the DPS charts in your group, it might be easier as another class. Next up, the Nightblade. Nightblades are the quintessential cloak and dagger class of ESO. They have more access to stealth and burst damage than any other class in the game, making them incredibly capable damage dealers. As tanks, Nightblades are surprisingly one of the best, sitting at the top alongside Dragon Knights and Wardens. Nightblades make great tanks due to their ability to stack damage mitigation and heal over time abilities. While they do excel as tanks and damage dealers, Nightblades are ranked low in the list of healers, possibly dead last at the moment. This isn't to say you can't heal as a Nightblade or that you will be horrible, but all else equal, your job will be harder as a Nightblade. Next up, the Templar. Templars use the power of light to defeat their enemies. Templars have recently seen themselves become extraordinary damage dealers, but are best known for their ability to heal. As healers, Templars have exceptional burst healing capability and fantastic resource management for the group through the use of shards. It's hard to run out of resources with a Templar throwing shards at you. A tank without resources is a dead tank and a damage dealer without resources is dead weight. As damage dealers, Templars are among the best. They put out an incredible amount of damage with one of the simplest rotations in the game. There is something so satisfying about cleaving down groups of enemies with a spear made out of light. At present, Templars are least known for their ability to tank. As always, this is something that could change, and it doesn't mean you can't tank as a Templar, it's just the road less traveled in the current state of endgame content. Sorcerers utilize lightning and Daedric summons to impose their will on the world. When it comes to using magic, sorcerers feel the most like the archetype. You launch crystal fragments, lightning, and teleport across the battlefield. They also have access to great shields and heals, making them a well-rounded class. As a damage dealer, they do great and have a very satisfying ranged execute. They pump out quite a bit of AoE damage and have fantastic mobility due to their ability to teleport. As a healer, they sit firmly in the middle of the pack and bring very capable burst heals by the way of their summon. As a tank, they have access to some nice damage mitigation and utility abilities that come in handy in some niche situations, like dealing with hard-hitting projectiles from trial bosses. Last, but definitely not the least, the Dragon Knight. Dragon Knights utilize fire and other dragon-themed abilities to get work done. You can't have a discussion about tanking without talking about the Dragon Knight. It is the bar all other tanks are compared to. As a tank, Dragon Knights bring with them fantastic sustain, damage mitigation, and burst heals. Their ultimate also allows them to take nearly zero damage for a short duration and can come in handy in those dire moments. 
As damage dealers, Dragon Knights do very well. They have a heavy focus on damage over time and AoE abilities, making them perfect for cleaving down groups of enemies. Dragon Knights are least known for their healing, and while they are capable of healing all content in the game, they may have to work a little harder than some healers to get the job done. And that's all of the classes. If you want to dive deeper into the builds that make these classes tick, visit JustLooted.com for builds, guides, and everything you need to know about ESO. I'm Lucky Ghost. I stream ESO five days a week, so feel free to stop in and ask me some questions about all things ESO. If you haven't yet, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button as it does help out tremendously. I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going back to Skyrim.